Hey everybody, Jennifer here and welcome to So Do You Like Beauty? Today's video is really echoey because I'm in my beautiful stinky bathroom and today I'm going to do a hair video. What inspired me to do this specific video is several years ago I was watching the movie Still Magnolias. If you're not familiar with it, watch it. There's two versions of it, amazing. And Dolly Parton's hair is just ginormous after her um, assistant comes in, does her hair and everything like that. So I was thinking, why not make my hair that big? So I actually did my hair that huge just for fun and I'll put a picture in there. I think maybe a few weeks ago, um, Facebook will do, remember a hundred years ago when you had this memory, only you could see it kind of thing. And it was that picture. So I'm like, you know what? Why not make a video about that? So today I'm going to show you how to get super ginormous, gigantic hair. 80s hair, if you will, but it's super big. When I first did this, I actually used the soft curlers that you leave in for several hours, but for time's sake, I'm going to use hot curlers. But the main thing is the first step is you wanna curl that hair. More curls, better. Clean hair would work. My hair is not clean, but it's not super greasy or anything. This whole um, week I've been flat ironing my hair, so there's product in it. I think it'd be good enough, because as you can see, I'm like doing stuff and it's staying, so that should work. Some kind of consistent like, like that. Clean hair would work, or semi-clean hair, but not super dirty hair, because then your oils build up and it won't work that well, but you know how your hair works, so. So I'm going to get started and do the hot curlers and I'm going to leave that in there for a good hour or so. Normally if I did the soft curlers, I would leave that in for many hours and I'm talking like four to eight hours, like a whole day thing. And I have places to go to, things to do, so you know. So I am going to do a speed run of me curling my hair. Now before I do that. Let me show you the products I'm gonna use. I normally have a curling serum that I use, but I don't have it anymore. For this, I'm gonna use my LA Hold Hairspray. I'm just gonna give it a little spritz so it has something to work with. And then later, when I actually wanna solidify those big curls, I'm gonna use Big Sexy Hair. I love this hairspray. It will give you pageant hair, oh my God. Tools, I am going to use just a regular brush to brush out my hair in sections, comb for sectioning my hair. When I do my enlarging of my hair, I'm going to use probably both of these, but this is semi-bore hair and plastic bristle, but it's made for teasing hair. You could do the same thing with a comb. And the method I'm going to use is once everything is curled, I'm going to back comb it um, like this, and another thing that I learned when I did that hairstyle is you could also just kind of do that and it'll give you some volume. So I'm gonna do both of those methods, but I'm gonna show you all the steps because it's a very um, intense process. So let's start by curling our hair. All right, so I'm a few levels lower now on my bathroom. I'm propping my phone up on a drawer because my silly little social light thing won't clip, but this works. These are the hot rollers I'm using. It's from Profiles and I've had this thing for, gosh, almost close to 20 years. So it's amazing and it still does an awesome job. I usually let these things heat for about a good 20 minutes before I start rolling them and there's two sizes. And I'm just gonna start with the middle one, which is the larger side, and then um, just use the little ones in there. The way I'm gonna section my hair is pretty much three sections. This here, and then the sides. And what I'm going to do is for this hair, I'm gonna roll it back like that. The side hairs, I'm gonna make it roll inward, just so you have that variety of hair from root and stuff and you know all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and begin. The rollers also comes with lovely clips that you could clip in there and then all that good stuff. All right so many hours have passed since the last little segment did because while I was filming I got a text from my friend, text from my boyfriend, so we just ended up running errands and doing all that stuff. What I am going to do is I'm going to section my hair this way. I'm gonna curl those sections first and then 
these areas going forward and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started with that and then once everything's curled I'm gonna leave it in my head for about a good hour or so because that really the longer you keep the heat and the curls in there like it's hot and then it cools off it really makes that curl strong and what we really want to accomplish is to have really strong bouncy curls so you could definitely accomplish that with the hot curlers and if you have the time i really recommend the just the regular rollers that just air dry and all that stuff because those are the strongest so i'm going to start with the larger variety and my curler is about this big i'm going to just kind of do a little section to start off with i'm going to use my lighter hairspray and just do a spritz just so it has some foundation to work from. And then I'll do it this way. Once I have my curl in there, just getting one of these pins and putting it in there. However you have your curler set. So there's the first one. And I'm just gonna continue with that process through my whole head. So I'm just gonna work that way and then work on the sides and I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, my whole head is covered in beautiful, beautiful hot curlers. What I did was each individual strand was combed so it's tangle free. Then I did a little spritz of my LA Holes hairspray and then put it up with the pins. And what I like to do is just do it really tight and then get the pin in there. And if it gets a little loose, just kind of turn them opposite ways and usually that holds it really tight so I'm going to and then also I did spray my whole head again with that this is a lighter hairspray I like it a lot because it's the kind where you could just spritz it in your hair and just kind of run your fingers through it so it has that flexibility so it's great for just setting purposes we're gonna let the hair sit for a good hour or more it really just depends on how quick i am going to edit the video that i'll be working on that's what i'm going to use to pass the time then when we come back we're going to have lots of curly hair and with that curly hair we're going to make it big let's see what happens next all right you guys so welcome to the other angle of my beautiful bathroom here's the shower here's a towel a towel for our feet very lovely so I think it's been about an hour um, my curlers are cool to the touch and I could take that little fuzzy paper out what I'm going to do next is remove all the curlers and then we're gonna have some fun with this so I'm gonna be in the ups upside down position like this so to avoid me losing air and passing out I'm gonna explain this first and then just show you guys what this looks like so after all the curlers are removed i'm going to be upside down and i'm just going to be spraying my hair with the big sexy hair hairspray and this is where i'm going to use that technique where i have the strand of hair and i just kind of pull it like that also i'm going to be teasing it as well and just spraying it with hairspray that way gravity is going to take place to help the root go up that way once we have like a good buildup of hairspray and teasing, then we'll be back in the upright position and we're just gonna do some maintenance there. So I am going to remove the curlers, pretty easy how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like while I'm doing the teasing and the hairspraying. So here we go. All right, so very nice big curls. They're very stable. We want to have bigger hair, bigger the better but very nice curls. I mean, you could stop and we're good, but we're going to loosen up the follicles and just get everything going. We're gonna run our fingers through this hair. I love that hairspray because the LA Hold, again, you can run your fingers through your hair with that hairspray. So as you can see, even just running your fingers through it, you're getting the hair a little bit bigger, but we're gonna make it even bigger than this. So I'm going to go into upside down mode, blind mode, and get things started. And with the magic of gravity, it's gonna help us position the hair the way we want. So again, big sexy hair, and just spray the hell out of your head. You could also use a hair dryer when you're doing this method too, just to get the hair spray nice and dry while you're getting this going. You could do some shakes and all that, just to give it some bounce. This is how you used to do the hair back in the old days. And with some of the back hairs, I'm gonna play with it a little and start doing this method. Let's see. 
So as you can see, it's gotten pretty big just by doing the upside down thing. I'm gonna add some more hairspray. Dang, too bad I'm not going to anywhere fancy. But a lot of big hair. And we're not quite done yet. I'm gonna use my tease comb and just tease some of the roots just to kind of give it a really awesome foundation. And I'm just getting some of the back sections of it so that way it's easy to disguise with the curls. We're doing a lot of back combing. And this is where you can mold your hair. And all I'm doing is just fluffing my hair and adding hairspray. And it's helping me mold and just secure the big curl, the bigness of it all. And when you start to get high from the fumes of the hairspray, you know it's working. Can't breathe. <laughs> so I'm going to change some camera angles just to show off this lovely, lovely lovely hair. Oh, I can't breathe. And there is my final look without suffocating to death. A lot of times you could actually get it even higher than that, but it's pretty simple, especially if you want to do something nostalgic like an 80s Halloween party or something like that. But yeah, so the key is lots of curls, lots of teasing, lots and lots of hairspray. Make sure you're in a ventilated room because you're going to suffocate like I did. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to So Do You Like Beauty. Also, we have our main channel, So Do You Like Stuff, social media, everything is down below. Not related to this video is I am currently raising money to help fund St. Baldrick's, which is a foundation to help raise money for research to find a cure for children's cancer. The link is the first link down below. If you can make a donation um, anytime between now until March 20th, 2020, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So you guys, you are the best. And thank you so much for joining me on this episode and getting this big, big, big hair. And you guys are awesome. And until next time, love you all. Alrighty, goodbye.